not knights and bikes. Not the knights and bikes. Not knights and bikes. Q and Apex. Q and Apex. Oh crap. Can I see in there? Oh! I was trying to set up my lighting, y'all. Yo, we've been doing <laughs> so much laundry. Oh my god, yeah, Danielle was telling me that's so exciting. Yeah, oh, oh god, shit, so I just hit start broadcasting. Uh, uh, whoop. Hello! <laughs> oh, I'm broadcasting Sorry, now, I'm... too. <laughs> okay, great, 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 great. Sorry. Hello! Hi, to everyone. any and all, maybe there. Welcome, welcome. If anybody, I did not advertise today, so if nobody's here, I would be surprised. Hello. Yeah, uh, Dilger advertised Hi. for us, and I did a little oh, that's bit so too, nice. so we're that's all so good. Kind. Hello, Christella83. Hello, Mitch Messiah. Hello, Julia. Oh, Julia. Hello, the one and only Happy Kitty. Hello, Spence Cast. Hello, get me antiseptic. I still love that name. Hello, Prince it's Fake so Egg. Good. Deviant Badger. Sakes. Wake Up Afterlife. Ordered uh, Mages. QT uh, Alex. Uh, 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 Mariah Chaos. That's not bad. Mariah right. Chaos. What's up, Marcy? Ash Coffee, Sweet Charade, hello, Speedies, V2. What's up, guy? Okay. What's up, Lion? Get the antiseptic, uh, hello, and hello, Lion. Lion. <laughs> Chair. Ninja, who's on, Mike? Astro Dawn, hello. Wake up after yeah, life. Yeah, my shoes. Mariah Chaos. When mages, Julia, 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 perhaps, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> Metalia98. Um, Hi guys, so, for today, guys, um, we made a vow to you that every um, stream is going to have a different, um, like, organization that we're going to be donating to. Um, so today's organization is the Homeless Black Trans Women Fund. Uh, it's a GoFundMe yes. account dedicated to uh, black trans women in LA, or not LA, Atlanta, um, who are yeah homeless and on the streets and trying to or trying to pay for cell phones, trying to pay for hotel rooms, trying to get them enough money on their feet to get get them places of their own, um, and keep them safe because obviously as we all know, black trans women have a higher rate of violence than just about any group. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I would say cause that uh, I'm super passionate about, and I think it's definitely worth your time. If you happen to donate, uh, we're going to do direct donations to the link provided in the chat. Um, we're not going to yes. be doing any more matching or anything like that, so just directly donate to them. Um, you don't have to send me a DM with your donation, but if you feel inclined to, you can, you can send me a receipt if you'd like. Um, yeah. So that's a. Uh, oh shoot! I'm seeing today. that I. Yes. Also, a quick a quick note. Uh, I see that I updated. The, I updated the uh, uh, commands for my mods, but I did not update Nightbot, like the automatic ones. And it's oh, that's still okay. It refreshes in my chat, so if you guys are like, so, oh, that one. Heads up about that. Uh, okay. Also, I think, also a heads up for my mods and my donate button definitely did not include the note about direct donations. That is something we're doing this time, just directly send any and all donations to... Uh, that the link. homeless black trans woman fund. Sorry, I didn't. We, I didn't know that that's what we were doing, and I was literally thinking about it as you were talking about. It. I was like, oh yeah, we're not matching this time, so we probably don't need to send donations to my Venmo. We should probably just be collecting receipts. We didn't really talk about this, and then you were like, oh yeah, do direct donations. I was like, oh, okay, there we go. All right, okay. Somebody <laughs> thought about this, not yeah, me well. clearly until just now. <laughs> we're all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, awesome. uh, definitely donate there if you can. Um, hooray. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I accepted your invite, Christopher, and I don't you know why I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this invite. No, I got you. Here, let's try this oh, one. Oh, there Aha. you go. There we are. All right. I did it. All right. Are we yes. doing do? We're doing duos or trios with a random person. Uh, let's do some duos. Let's do duos. Duos. Okay, I think you're in, you're in you're in charge yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do O's here. You know what I mean? Like, let's do. Let's have some good times. Do some O's. Do some O's every now and again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah every nut, now and again, we do some O's. I need Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerio we o we os O's, 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 We're not tired. We're not tired. <laughs> They're not tired even a little bit. <laughs> Um, guys, yeah. everyone, since there's no NDA, I feel like I can talk about it. Um, me and Chris had the same audition today, so that was fun. Um, yes, and also did. a friend of Danielle's as well also had the same audition. <laughs> um, so it was for Reese's Puffs, and super exciting. Uh, I really, I just want one of us to get it, so I at least know who got it. 
Heck yeah! I know, at least, at least, uh, and like, and if it's not any of us, then I'm like, okay, well, screw anybody else. I, I don't, I don't want to know. Right. This is a three not best of the best. Three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three best of the best. Yeah, it was a nice little voiceover gig. It was a lot of fun. It was literally like you do a 15 second clip and then a six second clip and then you do it again and improv it. And so it, yeah, it was a lot Yo, of fun. I totally, I totally flubbed my timing though. I did not know. Uh, granted, my agent didn't say anything about this either. So probably because they liked it. I mean, hopefully because they liked it. <laughs> hopefully because they liked it. Uh, but I 100% did not uh, uh, do a six second clip for my improv. I. Missed that note. I'm still catching on. Oh well, it's um, like it's supposed to be like 15 seconds, I think, for like that intro part, and then like there's like that little like smaller spot that's like only six seconds. Yeah, um, I did not entirely clock that, which I will work on in the future. Gonna punch you to death. Gonna punch you to death. Gonna punch you to death. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, are we taking questions in this uh, Q&A? Yeah, Q&A thanks. So. <laughs> and I'm dying. Oh, come on, give me, a, give me that shield. Alright, next million's dying, but I'm still this alive. This is why I hate this stupid shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Screw okay. that guy. Uh, this kind of could be a two-part question. Um, what do you think Gavin and Renzo dressed up for as um, on Halloween? What would we dress up for on Halloween? Or what would we dress up uh, as, I guess? Okay. Um, yeah, my English is very apparent. Um, I feel like... Oh, man. Uh, Where are you God, at? I'd have to think about that. Did you already die? Yeah. There's my banner. Uh. Um, God, what would I dress up as? Um... I really okay. uh, do. You have an answer because I don't. Because uh, uh, maybe like, like, like we dress up as as a couple for Christmas. Yeah, for, uh, like Christmas? Uh, nines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Halloween. Uh, Halloween. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, we would dress up as. Uh, <laughs> dead. No, <it's> dead. <laughs> dead. 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 Uh, we um, could do corpse bride. Aw, <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of cute. <laughs> but who would yeah. be? Who would be the friend? <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Who would be the right crew? <laughs> so I think it's valid either way. Corp um, corpse grooms, just two corpse just grooms. Just two corpse grooms. Um, I feel like we. Um... God, I don't. I don't know why this is so hard to think about. A couple's costume for Gavin and Nines. Uh. Mm -hmm. I got one. Uh, what you got? Salt a rat and, and some cheese. Salt and pepper, there we go. Gavin dresses as salt. <laughs> Absolutely, Gavin salty. is salt. Always salty. Always, always, always salty. The salt and pepper could be fun. Um, yeah. Salt mm. and pepper could be fun. A rat and some cheese would be fun. I mean, just like a giant, giant block of cheese. Yeah, yeah, nines would just be a giant block of cheese. Sentient oh. cheese. Sentient cheese. Yeah, great. So that's that. I, I agree with that one. That's my answer now. Yeah, that's that's what we're going with. A rat and we're a giant block that. of cheese. Okay. <laughs> Alright, great. Lovely. Like lovely, lovely, cheese. lovely. Well. Wow. Um, oh. oh, I. God, I have never actually thought about this because here's the thing I love drag queens so much. I love watching them. I, I will support them for the rest of my life, but. I just simply have never thought about me being a drag queen because that's just not within my realm of comfort for sure. Because <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist, I would want if I was going to do drag, I'd want to look immaculate and perfect right away, and I just know that's not how it works. <laughs> um, but if we're going off of like that that little like quiz that that you could take when you were early a kid there was like a porn star name thing i think but it could be apply to drag as well um where it's like the, oh, your first know, pet's name and your like street address so yeah, mine yeah, would yeah. be <laughs> mine would be pumpkin winchester pumpkin <laughs> winchester that's that is, good not a horrible drag pumpkin. name not bad not bad mine would be uh, mine would be gretchen stanley <laughs> that's that's perfect yeah 
Gretchen Stanley. I, Amazing. Yeah, and if I had to choose one for for no for no real reason, just other I think it's funny, my drag name would be Alphabet Soup. Alphabet Soup. Yeah, um, yeah just, I remember just because. An ex of mine to, like, came up with some names a while back. Um, and now someone's gonna shoot me dead. Um, so my I remember what my ex thought about um, Terry Cloth. Um, Terry and, Cloth. And Patty O Furniture. Yeah, Patty O Furniture. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, I did choose a new PS and name, guys. It's called Nine Lives now. Yeah. Well done. Get it? Ha 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 It was just neat. I needed something more entertaining than um, Max LK33. It's just very boring. You just gotta, like, gotta, you gotta get a little more creative. You gotta get into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the one. That's the um, one. Cool. What's, um, Where what else do people got? Jackson, what Is that? Your go to lip thing uh, touch me from Smash. That I have thought about multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that, yeah, touch me from Smash. Um, I guess probably... mine would be Taste by Betty Who. Oh! I was literally <laughs> just about to say that as well as like a backup. Because, <laughs> yeah. Chris, when you introduced me that song on that fucking contract, or, or when we were doing Detroit Evolution, all oh, you know that, that entire contract <laughs> that I contract. went to. The entire contract yeah. I went to after that the theme contract. park contract. No, the theme park contract is what I was trying to refer to. Yeah, um, okay, okay. The, <laughs> um, oh, that one. For something. Give something uh, to I was just listening to it, Taste at least like four times every day and just like. Obsessed. I was even like, I was even um, thinking about like, oh, could I even do this as an audition song? And I was like, no, there's no way, there's like no way that works for. I, I don't know what possible show I would audition for that that would be appropriate for. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought about it intently. So, yeah. Touch Me from Smash and Chris's Taste by Betty Who. Good answers, though. All around yeah. good answers. Do you guys have any strange food combos that you love? Strange food combos. Um... <sighs> You know, I'm, I'm very equal opportunity with what I eat, but I like I don't I don't think there's anything specifically that I eat that any that someone would be like, oh weird. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, strange food combos. Like I'm not like one of those people that's like I put ketchup on spaghetti because if you do that I don't trust you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like um, Oreos and peanut butter. <laughs> oh, that is not strange at all. That's a perfect combination. It's just decadent. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Peanut butter on literally everything, though. Just... Yeah, I'll take peanut butter on literally anything. Um, I don't know. Thing. Like, every single thing that I, um... That I, um... Eat, just anything that I cook for myself, I always put, like, sriracha on it, but that's not strange. I don't know. I'm just trying uh... to tell you more about what I eat. <laughs> you guys <laughs> name, like, all the most normal stuff. Yeah, I really like guacamole I really like... chips. Have you guys... Have you guys tried peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a really good combination. You guys yeah, ought to try it. They, they it do it a lot over in France. You know, they take <laughs> peanut butter and put it with the jelly. You should really try it sometime. Broaden your horizons. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. Um, they must not be very good. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, Just a peanut butter on spaghetti. Um. I remember yeah, uh, one of the restaurants I worked at, at um, it was a combination, I can't take responsibility for it, but it was a combination that I became obsessed with. They did uh, pork rinds, but they made them in like sumac honey, um, huh. and it was amazing. It was like sweet and like spicy and savory. It was, uh, yeah, really uh, delicious. Oh, that does sound good. Yeah. Yeah. Darn it. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay, hey, so, um, would you guys ever play the game Until Dawn, whether it be on stream or off stream? It's made okay. by the same company as Man of the Dawn, but it's so much better. Uh, Until Dawn. So now, is this like Dead by Daylight? Is it like a zombie thing? 
It's made by the same company as Man of Medan. It's kind of like a horror kind of game. It's like um, a group of teenagers is stuck on a mountain lodge. I said, you, it, oh, okay. and you and you do say that it's better because I'm gonna be honest with you, that man of Medan left me with a bad taste in my mouth with that creator. Yeah, <laughs> it's not I so good. I gave my recommendation. I platinum the game. That's how much I loved it. You platinum oh, wow. Dead by Daylight, huh? Great. Oh. I consider it. Yeah, I don't. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I must yeah. call it by the wrong name now. Um, I mean, would I would I play a, a game that's supposed to be pretty great? Yeah, I'd play that game. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Although I did just pick up Murder by Numbers, and I'm like already hooked. It's already much more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. It sounds really easy. <laughs> Murder by Numbers. Yeah. What is it about? Uh. So I mean, like, it's you ever played the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney games? Oh man, those are like a DS classic. Um, uh, one, I highly recommend uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Um, but uh, Murder by Numbers sets you up with this uh, person who like walks in and their boss gets murdered and you gotta solve it. And the way you like solve it is by finding clues and every clue is like a little pick cross puzzle. So you got a grid and then you got a number on your X axis, a number on your Y axis. And like those numbers correspond to which blocks need to be filled in and how many of them. And you kind of just go with those numbers and figure out the pattern, fill everything in, find clues and solve the mystery. Sounds like a blast. Oh yeah. It's, it's surprisingly addicting. It would be. I'd be on there for hours. Uh, but yeah, would we'll definitely play Dead by Daylight. Yeah, same. Until dawn? Until dawn. <laughs> I mean, Dead by Daylight's a good game, too. But that game is fun. Ooh, Mass Step Shot. Uh, you, uh, you can have it. Stop. I'm good. I got a Havoc and a Prowler. I'm ready to fuck some people up. Oh, somebody's shooting. Oh my god! Oh my god! God, he got me so good. He got me so good. Woo! Call me with my pants down. Christopher. Yeah, they got a bloodhound too. Ah. Good old college try. <laughs> I broke one of their shields. Got another question. Oh yeah. To get stuck. In any video game, which one would it be? If I was to what? Get unstuck? Like, if you were stuck in a video game universe. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> King probably Kingdom Hearts. Mm. Big Kingdom Hearts fan. I think living in the Super Smash Brothers universe would be pretty dope too. Just a universe of interconnected games. Um. I'm gonna cop out and say the Harry Potter games. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, total cop out, cause like that's a book first. That's a book first, and the games are not even that good. That's fair. The games are are not that good. Um, I think I would love to be in like Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Say one more. The Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Oh. Okay, I'll give you that one because that's yeah, fucking. Yeah, so fucking I can like Actually, be customized, get my train in here, and go to the light or dark side Yo. if I want to. I'm gonna change my answer. You gave a ready. You gave a better answer. I'd take that over anything. I'd go if I go and be a fucking Jedi. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a great. Uh, I'm, I have a follow up question for that. I'm asking us a question. What would your okay. lightsaber combination be? Would you have one saber? Would you have two? What colors would those two Woo! sabers be? Would you have a quarter staff? What would you oh, do? Man. I'm a big fan of the two saber uh, of the like I, of like I like how they did it in Jedi Fallen Order, and the only thing I would do off. is I would go yeah, yeah and the and I, and like and I I would go a step further where in like uh, Jedi Fallen Order, uh, Cal Kestis stores his lightsaber like stuck together and keeps it on his hip. I would have uh -huh. the two of them separated and keep them on each individual hip. That's how I would store both of those. That's exactly how I, yeah. I want well, I would two have one like well. hanging from my chest. So I'd have like one across my chest and then like one on my hip. Yeah, I I think yeah. that I would want I would want two. I think I'd be using them as two more often than a quarter staff. But I would like them to combine. That would be super neat. 
I would um, love the and, option to like to like be single bladed and be like, now I'll take out the two. Now I'm gonna yeah. put them together. Yeah, what's up? Black lightsabers are not a thing, unfortunately. I've thought about that multiple times, but um, yeah. A black but, lightsaber? Yeah, yeah. No. They tried to make it a thing in Jedi Knight Jedi Academy with a computer mod that I downloaded, and that was amazing, but it just didn't have the same effect. It doesn't look yeah, the same. Yeah, not, it's not... It's hard gonna... to make black light bright. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, no, no, no. Do you want this Mastiff? Oh, uh, I probably should have grabbed that, huh? I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, it's because I had it. Oh, there you go. I'll take a gun, level 3 backpack, that's cool. Oh, man, yo, to be a Jedi. Uh. Hey, man. And if I had to pick an anime universe, you already know My Hero Academia, for sure. We find ourselves inside the next I actually have a question, for that. What would you be, um... What would be your ideal voice act like role in anime? Like, who would you play? Everybody wants to be the Goku part of something. The Goku. Like, I definitely want to play a main role for sure. Um. Oh man. So, so it'd be like an. Actually, no. Being like a Bakugo would be super fucking cool. Cause then you get to be a villain, but you're also a good guy. <laughs> like Zuko. Yeah. Actually, Zuko. Zuko's a really good example too. Also, I'm on season two of Legend of Korra, having a great time. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, One Punch Man. Who did Julius says One Punch Man? That's a good one. Um, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I would do for an anime. Um. I feel like I'd want to be like a te I'd like a teacher of some sort. Like, if I was gonna be oh, like, okay. like I feel like I'd want to play a role like Piccolo or something like that. Oh yeah, Piccolo training Gohan, and you could be yeah. Mr. Aizawa. You really gotta watch My Hero Academia. You'd love it. Um, Lion says that they would live in Yu-Gi-Oh. And Lion, I'm just saying, once upon a time in my life, I felt the same way. So I feel I feel what you're. I also about. felt that way about Pokemon. Um, kind of still. Do oh that. man. Kind of still do. Actually. <laughs> Actually, Pokemon counts! It was an anime! It was an anime for a long fucking time! Yeah. And, uh, with that OG voice cast, not not the post for kids production era. That bullshit, would... hell no. OG voice cast. I'd want to be like, uh... Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, sorry, I'm like hijacking the, the Q&A here. Um, if you were a gym leader of Pokemon, what would your type be? Whoa! That's man, my, like, one that's of my favorite really questions. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Can I guess I for would... can I guess for you before you answer? I mean, I'm sure, curious yeah. what you're gonna think. Uh, but sure. I, I I see either fire or uh, hmm, fire or electric for you. Yeah. See, I think I actually would electric be, is my uh, answer. <laughs> I I think I would be uh, actually like a wind type. Like a wind type oh, like Pokemon, flying, like, yeah. like, like a flying type Pokemon. Yeah, sorry, a flying type Pokemon, but like maybe like with either with either fire or ice. Like like my like ah. my 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 boss battle Pokemon's gonna be either Articuno or Moltres, like one of the two. Oh, that would be like your like yeah. See, I I really like fire too, but ah uh, man, I really like. St oh, I keep forgetting I'm a jump master. My God. Um. I feel like I would want to do... I guess maybe like, yeah, like, I guess I would do like Psychic or, um, Steel. I think Psychic and Steel are some of my favorite Pokemon. Like, Oh, ever. that'd be dope. Apparently Gardevoir is one of like the best Pokemon in the game, which I had no, I that was one of the first Pokemon I got. When I, oh, like, yeah. Think, what generation? Is Gardevoir gold and silver? Uh, I think it's Ruby and Sapphire. Okay. I've only got a Mozambique. I only have nothing. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, that went well. Christopher. I can't help you because I He's have no gun. He's got no ammo. Huh? I have no gun. I'll get in a punching match with him. Good luck. <laughs> oh. Before, not before they kill me. Nope, there I go. Favorite Pokemon game of all time. Um. Oh. 
So, you know, I didn't play Sword and, Sword and Shield. Unlike a lot of people, I did not jump on the Pokemon bandwagon again uh, and have not played. I, you know, it's, it, there were some great parts about, like, character customization and stuff like that, um, and, yeah, but, like, the stories, to me, are going downhill. Like, I don't really, like, I'm not really as enraptured with the stories as I was with, like, the original games. Yeah. Um, yeah. and for me personally, like, I guess it's just, like, my nostalgia, but, like, there's nothing that's gonna, um, like, there's nothing that's gonna make me happier than <laughs> playing, like, classic red, blue, or yellow. Uh, maybe yeah. gold oh, and silver. Wait. Fun fact, did you know that there was supposed, there was, uh, supposedly gonna be a pink version that was gonna be released alongside yellow in it, they scrapped it. Oh, no, is it gonna be, like, Jigglypuff at the center or something? There's, like... There was yeah uh, uh Clefairy. There was an Clefairy, old yeah, makes sense. um yeah there there is an old um data cache where they found references to it and there's an old advertisement apparently that somebody dug up somewhere that shows a pink version alongside a yellow version. Huh. And uh so anyway, random random history. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm still a huge like I could sit down and binge red red or blue or yellow tomorrow. And it, I don't yeah. need it to be HD, like, I could play it on old Game Boy and just binge the ever-loving hell out of that game. Yes, absolutely. See, if, if they would go back and remaster with the graphics that they have now and the customization and all that stuff, if they would remaster the original well, ones, I'd be, I'd be very interested in If they did a red-blue remaster, because they did a Soul Done. Silver and, like, they did a Soul Silver heart and gold something. Heart Gold and Gold Silver, yeah. Heart Gold, yeah. So they should fucking do that again with, like, an HD stat, yeah, hundo percent on that, on that wavelength. What's your uh, favorite favorite Pokemon of the year, OG 150? Nine Tails. Nine Tails. Yeah. Okay. Nine Tails forever. Primate. I mean, imagine Primate. You know, yeah. <laughs> those are both so indicative of our personalities. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, um, that would be Nines and Gavin. Gavin would be a Primate, and Nines would be a. Um... Oh shoot! You get wow. shots yep. fired. Yeah. I've got a thermite grenade. Yeah, throw it. Oh, uh, they're copping out. So your own thermite grenade can hurt you. Good to know. Oh yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've lost uh, lots of damage many a times to that. Well, staying on the Pokemon theme, who would be your starter Pokemon? Uh, uh, if you had to pick from one of the original three, right? You were not doing like a pick any Pokemon you want. Yeah. It wasn't specific, so I'm guessing it's any Pokemon. Let's do the or, let's do the original yeah. three. Yeah, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, and no cheating and saying I choose Pikachu. No, none of that shit. Pikachu chooses <laughs> you, asshole. All right. <laughs> Sorry. You're right, Chris. It is that serious. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh God. Found the Bangalore again. Oh, come on. Oh, they got their squad. Darn. Shit. Um, so Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or Charmander? Um... Charmander. I, yeah. I think I... Uh, yeah, I think I'd go, uh, Squirtle. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bulbasaur is a close second, but um, Squirtle is uh, Squirtle is king. Squirtle, Squirtle is king. <laughs> Just like I fell in love with Squirtle during the anime when like where he like came. Um, with the sunglasses like, on. Yes, yes, with the big old sunglasses and like the whole squad of them. I was like, that's that that's my Pokemon. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of my favorite Pokemon anything um, is the. Uh, short film, like, Pikachu's Vacation one. But yes! That, but, but I watched it every that, Christmas! <laughs> yeah, and, it, and it's the preview one that comes before um, uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000, right? where they're, like, in the rainforest and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And Pikachu battles the lightning to save the tree. Oh my god, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my dude. god, the original um, Pokemon movie though, dude, when all the duplicates of the Pokemon are fighting each other, like, tell me uh, you did not cry a fucking river every time. Oh, uh, dude, when they, especially when all of them were crying for Ash, for dead Ash. Also, oh sidebar, they remade, they remade it, and it's not, anymore. and like, I can't, oh, I can't no. stand to watch it. Well, they Is did it, it and they did it with a new voice cast. They did it with a new voice cast, so there's like, the, I, I can't even watch it. Like, I'll, I'll it's probably super gorgeous because it's modern, updated, like 3D animation and stuff. But like, man, you can't take that away, and you can't take away the voice, uh, the voice that shaped my childhood. <laughs> um, uh, and then just like call it the same thing. Like, it just doesn't work. Oh shit! Somebody just punched me real good. Gun, 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 gun. There's literally no gun in here. No gun. No gun. No guns. Just grenades. Shotgun bolt, no gun. Jesus Christ. Shit. Ah, shit. Almost down. I saw right here. That Oxhand is almost dead. Oh, yeah, I've got no ammo, so I gotta punch him. Oh, no. He's gonna give me a disc grenade. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dead. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Woo! Let's go to another location. <laughs> Great. It's not right, right away. Sounds good. Let's try. Um, I'm trying to think, what, did we ever answer the most recent questions, or is there another one? Well, let's do another question. Another one. More question! <laughs> yes. What that was. Don't ask me what that was. Whatever your question is, though, don't, don't ask me what the fuck that was. <laughs> I'll do a simple one. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh. Like, are we talking like basics, like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry? Or are we talking like favorite, like Ben and Jerry's flavor? I think just any. Like, what's your go-to ice cream? Whoa. I mean, go-to ice cream is like if I go into like a place that has like just like soft serve or something like that, then like chocolate vanilla swirl, you can't beat it every time. Woo! Um, I would get a cherry dip vanilla swirl if I was going someplace that had soft serve. That's me. Okay, that's also amazing. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, so, like, actual flavors of ice cream. <laughs> I've had a... At Cold Stone, I remember having a red velvet cheesecake ice cream, and that was fucking life-changing. I worked at Cold Stone for four years. <laughs> oh, wow, I did not know that. <laughs> I did, and Lion. Uh, Lion says banana ice cream, I'll die on this hill. I used to make the banana ice cream at Cold Stone, and all it is is they're, like, sweet cream ice cream with nine bananas in like one pan of it and like that's how it's flavored and it was the best thing ever and you could make banana ice cream with peanut butter a Reese's cup and an Oreo and it was the greatest creation that's ever been known to ice cream holy shit just that saying amazing. Um, I um, to give you a take into like what I love at cookout if anyone knows what cookout is um, uh, yeah. the milkshake that I would get um, I get Oreo peanut butter fudge cheesecake milkshake. So that's Oreo peanut butter milkshake. So you and I are on the same. Oreo peanut way butter. Right Oreo peanut butter fudge cheesecake milkshake. Son of a bitch. That's <laughs> yeah. so good. It is the best thing ever. God, why am I uh, always landing in places that don't have? I got guns? a backpack. I'm ready for anything. Got that backpack. Got that ready. Re oh God. Oh. Oh man. Well, there we go. Ready for anything, and I found it. Woo! This guy's good. Wow, man. Good job, you. Good job, buddy. Great guy. Good job, guy. Good job, guy. This guy's great. Look at this guy. <laughs> um, also, I recommend if anyone goes to like any store and ha there's the Talenti brand of ice cream, ice cream um, oh! do sea salt caramel. They have literal, like... <gasps> They have like the like little chocolate caramel truffles in it, and it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and then okay, and then for anybody listening who's lactose intolerant, you suck it up. You suck it up and you eat that ice cream because you're gonna like it. It's really good. <laughs> okay, that's how I feel about you and your lactose intolerant bullshit. You suck it up and you eat that ice cream. I'd be the worst parent ever. Suck it up. Suck it up and you eat that ice cream. You yeah, came here, alright? This is the only day we get to be here as a family, Kevin. Now eat your ice cream. Fuck. 
What are the questions? Sorry, I just had to shame Kevin for a minute. <laughs> Kevin deserved it. Kevin knows what he did. Kevin always Absolutely. knows what he did. That fuck. Um, I'm also slightly <laughs> lactose intolerant too. Yeah, I'll just so you know. Um, but I, but you know what I do? I suck it up. I, 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 yeah. have, those dairy, I have those dairy I'm relief like pill Kevin. things. Yeah, I just I take two of those little dairy relief pills right before I eat any of it, and uh, it doesn't help completely, but it definitely helps. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, I want to eat the ice cream. <laughs> you suck it up. You eat that ice cream. You'd be happy we're together today here as a family. As a family. Squander this, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. No, what don't be sorry. <laughs> it's that Reese's Puff commercial. It got you amped up. <laughs> it did. It was so much fun to do. I had so much fucking fun it, doing it, that. It was fun. It's so nice when they're like, they actually just let you have fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> you guys ready for another question? Yeah, hit me yeah, with another question. It. Just don't talk, just don't ask me about Kevin. <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> uh, if you were <laughs> stranded on an island with three Detroit Become Human characters, who would you be stranded with? And uh, I only know two. No, I only know three. Did you become human characters? Gavin Reed, Nines, you know four. and Chris Miller. No, you know huh? what, what's, what's another one? Oh, Connor. No, what's another one? We literally filmed it. We literally filmed it. Uh, uh, Who's Carla play? Who's Carla? Play? Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. Tina Chen. Oh, Tina Chen. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I need to play the game. This will be fixed tomorrow when I play the game. Come, uh, come watch me play that game. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna know more characters than I thought. I'm gonna be like, oh, I knew this person. I'm gonna have you all fooled. What about you, Maximilian? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> um, I feel like I, I would. I, I, who would I get stranded with, or who do I want to get stranded with? Who I want to get stranded with is Sumo, the giant St. Bernard dog. Um, and That's a thing. Yeah, I can't wait for you to meet Sumo. It's a, it's a, it's a good moment. Um, <laughs> um, so Sumo, uh, probably from the game, I would want to get quarantined with like... Maybe like... Marcus and Simon. Yeah? Yeah. It's got double teamed right, so hard. Oh my god. I heard your death. It, was, it sounded very sad. Yeah, dude. I got messed up real hard. Oh my god. Oh. God, my aim is shit today. I have the mood every day. <laughs> I've been awful for like the last month. I've been very good. I played with uh, uh, Kai and Brad, and um, yeah, I want to. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> I, I wanted to play with Kai and. Bra uh, oh my god, sorry. I'm looking at the chat and I'm trying to speak and it's not working. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can do this, I believe. I also love Luther. I would probably take away Marcus and, t and put Luther in there actually because mm, i okay, actually okay, forgot okay, luther okay. existed anyway um i was uh i got like five kills in one game i remember there's one game i got like 1500 damage i was like doing really good work and today we literally can't survive <laughs> at all yeah it's a lot of fun <laughs> can't literally last like five minutes <laughs> um <laughs> I had like a decent stretch yesterday, or no, two days ago, but like, I have just had nothing but consistently, like, terrible games. I'm so good at this game, I'm the best. The end. <laughs> what other, uh, what other, uh, well, the questions, questions we, got. we got? Grill me. Give me the third degree. The third degree. Do you have any funny improv yes. stories, like something going wrong while on stage? Uh, yeah. Oh god, I don't know if they're funny, but I've had plenty of things go wrong. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, I have worked with far too many actors uh, during plays that don't know their lines. 
Um, and I remember there was one show that I was doing um, where we literally uh, skipped, I think, God, I think like four pages of full script because of one of the actors. Um, I'm, there's a caustic right here. Oh, they're jumping away. Come hear me. Oh, that's you. Hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get shot. Oh, yes. Okay. Naked. Oh, God. People coming. Oh, God damn it. Like great. <laughs> um, cool, yeah, what's the next question? Oh, wait, wait, no, we didn't even answer it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so, this is so, I'm, I just, I'm not looking at the chat anymore, that's that's what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> it's okay, literally so, jumbling my brain. My story's quick, uh, there's a show, it's called All in the Timing, um, I believe it's by David Ives. And there's this opening scene where uh, these two detectives come in, and then they have a really long conversation with the wait. They have a co conversation with the waitress, and I played the waitress, and I like come in. I'm in like a waitress uniform and lipstick and and stockings and everything. And my first line, it, I, I I forget what my first line is, but I basically like on night like four of seven. So we've done this a bunch of times already. We know all the beats. We know all the laughs. I, I open with a line that comes halfway through the whole scene. I just said the entirely wrong line, and my my uh, scene partner looked at me, and we both like gave bulged eyes and started laughing, just like on stage. We couldn't help cracking up, and she like she got us right back on track. It was like nothing happened, but it was awful, and it happened out of nowhere. It was like the epitome of a brain fart caught in caught in the moment, caught on camera. Oh yeah, caught in theater. So uh, yeah, that's that's my story. That's my that's the one that I always go back to. I'll never forget the lights come up and I say the wrong fucking line. Oh my god, it's the most mortifying feeling in the fucking planet. You're like, here we go. It's the first line of the goddamn show. Lights up this line, and I got it wrong. It was it uh it was great. It was great. It felt great. Felt amazing. That was a professional actor. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of one that was like funny because <laughs> I've had um, some scary ones but um, I'm trying to think um, I, th I think one of the best ones was uh, during my th one of the theme park contracts um, <laughs> one of the people uh, singing uh, Let It Snow um, they completely forgot every word, like, not even just, like, they got halfway through and, like, flubbed. It was, like, they opened their mouth to sing, and nothing. <laughs> oh, my and, God. And, uh, so, yeah, they literally were just, like, <laughs> they literally hummed the whole song on stage and we're all like doing background vocals to it and just like oh keeping it going and just feeling so horrible for this person and uh yeah it was um it was a scary time for them yeah oh revenant just got my heart they just uh they got me got my got me real heart god Ugh. Ward mages once I forgot a line in a monologue and just sit there in silence until I remembered it. That's literally all you have to do. <laughs> you just have to sit there and just be like, and I'm living and I'm existing and I'm thinking out loud and then it's gonna come to me and I'm just gonna be in this moment and it's gonna come, it's coming right now, it's still not coming. It's... <laughs> it's <laughs> Stop on. I want mm. spell on stage. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've definitely fallen on stage before. Especially during the theme park contracts, for sure. Yeah. During a monologue. 
During a mo- and Were you- okay. During a monologue, I tripped, fell on stage, but luckily it was like an emotional monologue, so people thought it was on purpose. Part of it. I do is both my knees. If you can afford it. I- s s Were you moving during this monologue? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like- <laughs> Okay, you're just like wandering around the stage. Yeah, I'm did yeah, you trip on like a set piece or something? I tripped on air, I think. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that happens. I'm a no, yeah, I'm none to happen. Tripping on air, common occurrence. Happens all the time. Air is a lot harder than you think. Woman's intuition. Um. You guys can dye your hair. Any color. What color you oh god. I would do blonde just to know. Just to know, and then I could do whatever the fuck I, color I wanted after that. I literally know for a fact you would pull off blonde. <laughs> oh yeah? I just, you have the skin tone for it. I think it would look really, ah, I think it would look really good. I got good. that blonde skin tone, alright. <laughs> it's like you have like a natural sort of like tan to you that is like, even when you're pale it's still kind of tan. You still have like all, like sort of like kind of olivey undertones to your skin, and I think that would work well with the blonde. I could do that with a blonde, I could rock that blonde. Alright, cool, great, I'm going blonde, here we go, it's gonna be awesome. Um, I have gone blonde before, uh, for, uh, something, it was like, pre pretty much almost platinum, um, for Rock of Ages How did when it I did go? that show. Um, it was fine. I, not my thing. Um, I think I, I think I pulled it off okay, because I actually dyed my hair and it wasn't just, like, some shitty wig. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, w it was fine. Um, I think I would really love to see what, like, a Cameron Monaghan red would look like on me. I don't know uh, if it would work out well. Is it Monaghan or Monaghan? I think it's Monaghan. Okay, you're right. You're but I right. could, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I haven't heard him say it, so I'm just speculating. So who knows? The great mystery of our time. <laughs> I just love how we have the entire color palette and Chris goes blonde. Yeah. Well, because then I, I mean, could do whatever the fuck I wanted from there. Yeah, that is true. Let's go this way. Oh my god, it's been like two minutes and we haven't died yet. I know, it's pretty great. Feeling, Amazing. Pretty, feeling pretty good. All we had to do was run away from everybody. <laughs> I feel like no matter what I pick, there's always one that lands near us, but sometimes All you had to do lucky. is not get in a fight. <laughs> I just kept running into people, but not having any, um, ammo. <laughs> yeah, right, ain't that a bitch. Car 301. Mm. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take out this wingman for this guy. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Drop that shit. All right. I would love right. to try that like rainbow hair trend where it's like you, when you like like push it back it like literally is like technicolor. It only lasts like yeah. a solid week probably, but it would be cool to see for at least a little bit. Yeah, just to know. Yeah, exactly. Just to, to say that I do it. To do it. Let's go. But unfortunately, me and Christopher cannot do any of these things being actors. <laughs> Nope, I, mean, we could. I, I, I have opened up more to having tattoos for sure yeah. especially now having my had my tattoos covered up on uh, DE um, I am a lot more open to uh, to just doing that I don't think it's as big of a threat to your career as like my professors made it out to be once yeah a time. as long as it's in like a concealed like if you're getting a neck tattoo that's different but um, yeah, if you or like, like get... on your fucking face or some shit, like that's yeah. just dumb. But if you can conceal it normally... Okay, I that's alright, face tattoos are not dumb, not dumb. But if you if you are concerned about <laughs> if your looks have to do with your, your forms of employment, and you're naturally cast more and get more jobs, and you don't have shit all over your face, then maybe yes. don't get a tattoo on your fucking face. That's, yes. That's what... <laughs> if you have made, if your brand does not include face tattoos, don't make it include face tattoos. Don't don't make it include face tattoos. That's a bold step. You really gotta you really gotta want that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, you're gonna almost always get. Oh, you get scared. In. Yep, sure did. Up to you. Oh shit! Are they right outside. Oh Jesus! They're right there. Shit. 
Oh shit, he is. Okay, he's almost down. He's right here, he's right here. Bloodhound, bloodhound, bloodhound. Shit! Uh, you gave me a kill though, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Yeah. I will take that kill. I always get so much damage and always the least amount of kills, I feel. <laughs> yeah, you and me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What else we got for questions? Branching off of hair color, is there any like hairstyle you boys wanted to experiment with? Like a side shave, fully shave, growing yeah. it out? Yeah, I'd want to shave my head. I still, I th I've been thinking about doing it in um, quarantine, although it looks like the industry's coming back online a bit sooner than I expected, so not going to do it. But really, re if this industry shuts down a second time, because, you know, coronavirus still exists and we're probably going to go through another uh, stay-at-home order, when that happens, shave my head. I am very curious to see what that will look like. Have you ever watched uh, 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 How to Get Away with Murder? Yes. There's a character on that Frank who has like a bunch of hair and then he shaves his head and you're like, holy fuck, I'm hoping it's like that. I'm hoping like, I go from, like, Oh, yeah, when he shaved his head, I was like, oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, how did you get hotter? <laughs> Move your mic a bit closer, thank you, Ryan. Is, I'm very loud, are you sure? Point. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I... I've thought about, like, growing, growing my hair out. Like, where it would be, like, like maybe, like, shoulder length. But, like, I would want... If I was going to do that, I would want my hair to have some sort of, like, curl or wave to it. And I don't want to work hard to make that. So right. I just know if my hair grew out like that, it would just kind of look like... Snape's hair, probably, in terms of texture. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, in theory, I want to grow my hair out. I would also love to see what I'd look like sha with my head shaved, but I don't know if I'll ever have the balls to do it. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so curious. I really want to know. I would love like a super. I think I, I would like a super harsh like undercut to where like I would have like a like a tight skin fade basically. Um, and, um, it's so like a tight skin fade, but, um, super duper, like, long in the front, though. I think that would look kind of cool. That would be dope. Are there guys in here I, like, can't tell? They're shooting at you over there? No, that's me. Shooting at them. They are over here, though. I'm coming. Fuck. Oh boy, there we go. Wow. Woo! You guys will all more Yeah, let's do it. One more yeah, question, we one more. and we can call it. Which Harry Potter professor would you be? Specifically professor. Now, an existing professor, or are you asking what class we would teach were we to be a professor? Let's answer both. Yeah. <laughs> um, I. I feel like I would be Lupin. Um, Professor Lupin. Oh. Yeah. I would love to be. I, see I think that. I would. Yeah, he's got a kind of like a calming presence about him that I feel like would be really wonderful to be. Um, and. If I was teaching a class, I think I would probably teach... <sighs> I think I would probably teach, actually, Defense Against the Dark Arts or Care of Magical Creatures. Maybe Herbology, Whoa. though. God. Herbology is so much cooler in the Harry Potter universe. Like, there's so many cool fucking plants to take care of. Um... So yeah, maybe so one of those three, the uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts. But maybe, oh, you know what? I kind of might like potions, though, too, because I like cocktails. God, I don't know oh. anything. Hell yeah. Uh, I would be Mad Eye Moody for sure. Hundred percent be Mad Eye Moody, and then uh, uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts or Potions, one of the two. Yeah, I could definitely see you Defense Against the Dark Arts, but I de uh, yeah, I think if I had to choose one, I would probably want to do Care of Magical Creatures. Yeah. Yeah. To f I mean, like to have Hagrid's job to like to like be feeding Buckbeak and like hanging out with Buckbeak and stuff and. Oh, oh yeah, yeah cool. that'd be nice. And like Fang and getting like a dragon egg and stuff like that. That'd be so fucking dope. 
Uh, so many cool creatures. So many cool creatures. I'm not gonna make it. Um, I'm gonna go over. Uh, I can go around actually. Good, I'll meet you over there. Cool. See one other team landing here right now. Uh, amazing. I have guns. Ready to kill someone. Ah, uh, darn it. Stupid Pathfinder. Lot of shield. Grenade. G7 scout. Let's work with it. Ooh, I love that gun. It's my favorite. Oh shit, there they are. Damn it, I'm being shot on by two different teams on both sides. Oh boy. Got him. Oh shit. Nice. That one. Oh, he's right there coming around on the right. Oh. Get him. You get it. He's right here coming through the tunnel. He's going around the left. He's coming back. Coming back. There you go. Got it. Nice. You did it. Alright. Survived one. There we go. I love it. Uh. Um. Oh. oh god, someone else coming. Oh boy, yeah, there they are. I don't have any health. I definitely need some more. I have almost no ammunition. Let's figure it out. Let's do this. Let's rock this. Let's rock this house. Right here. Oh, okay. I'm com I'm going up top. Oh god, his shields are broken. Oh, there's two of them. I've got eight shots left. Here we go. Yeah, we're the shot. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. So that's going to be a wrap for us today. So if you uh, did donate, thank you to the uh, Homeless Black Trans Women's Fund. Um, send us your receipts so just so, like we can know and like keep track. And uh, yeah. it's good to know who's supporting. And if, uh, So thank you. Um, also, again, thank you to everybody who donated to our first fundraiser. Again, like that was wildly successful. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, it was so much fun. And yeah, you guys really showed up in a major way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will see a lot of you all tomorrow for my Detroit Become Human stream. Oh and God. then I will see you all in the chat for Maximilian's Detroit Become Human stream on Friday. That's so amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, and Friday. Yeah, uh, and Puffs. Yeah, and Friday, uh, I got my Patreon concert. Um, so yeah. if you guys want to... Uh, sign up for my Patreon. Uh, the tiers start at three dollars. Um, please feel free to sign up, and if you get in before Friday, then you can come watch the concert. And you can only watch the concert if you're a patron. So, yay! Just consider signing up. That would be lovely. Um, anyway, love you guys, uh, and hooray! We will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.